There's a teeth whitening ad I saw on TikTok that shows a man holding a banana and then he walks behind a purple screen. Suddenly the banana turns white. Then in explaining how this works, they say that purple neutralizes yellow. Then they show an even more surprising result with two Petri dishes. One has yellow painted on it and the other has purple. Then they cross it and it makes white in the middle. It's clear completely. So is this actually possible? Well, let's try it. Okay, I've got my purple screen set up just like in the video and I'm holding a banana. Let's see what it looks like when I go behind the purple screen. <laughs> as far as I can tell looking on the camera screen, it looks like I'm holding a yellow banana with a tinge of purple in front of it. So it's definitely not turning white. Even if I digitally change the white balance so that this should be white, this is what it makes everything else look like. Unless I just do it right at this cutoff, now it looks like this. <laughs> Even if I put another purple screen in front of it so I get a darker purple, you can see I still don't get a white banana behind it. I kind of get this dark orange banana. And before we continue with the experiment, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, Foreo. They have a device called the Bear device that's been shown to reduce wrinkles and fine lines in the skin and also increase the skin's firmness and elasticity. So how could it do this? Well, you apply a serum to the areas you want to treat and then you massage with the Bear device. In addition to the serum, which has things like hydroluronic acid that helps the skin flex and reduce wrinkles, the Bear device actually delivers painless microcurrents or mini shocks to your skin. It sounds surprising that running small amounts of electricity through your skin could actually do anything, but decades ago it was discovered that when the skin is damaged, there's a measurable voltage near the wound. This happens due to the interrupted ion transport of Na plus and Cl minus and other ions. So the wound site acts like a cathode. So basically by applying voltages on the skin, you can send wound healing cells to those areas. And I'll put a link to some of the peer reviewed studies about this in the description if you're interested. But Foreo made a device that's much more manageable for everyday use and combined it with their skin serums to try to reduce the signs of aging. From the studies I've read about their device and the reviews online, it's pretty clear that the device actually works. So if you wanna try it out yourself, you can click the link in the description and get 21% off your Bear device. Now let's get back to the experiment. Even if we try it with some different yellows that maybe might work a little bit better. So this is a more vibrant yellow. It's gonna turn it into kind of this darker orange. If I use a lighter yellow, still doesn't quite get the white effect on the paper. The only one that kind of seems to work is if I have this kind of cream paper. You probably can't even see the slight hint of yellowish to this paper, but it's a little bit yellow, kind of this cream color. And this one maybe behind the purple makes you perceive that maybe it's white in there behind the purple. So there's definitely something fishy going on with this video. So this doesn't work at all. So let's see if there's any slivers of truth in what they're claiming with their product. Their claim is that purple will neutralize yellow. And if you know some color theory, this should sound familiar because purple and yellow are complementary colors on the color wheel meaning that if you have yellow and mix some purple in with it, the yellow will lose some intensity or chroma. So if you have a bright yellow that you don't want to be so vibrant, you don't mix black in with it to make it less yellow, you mix purple. So if you have two complementary colors and you mix them together in equal parts, then you end up with a black or a dark brown. You never actually end up with a lighter color, the reason is because when you're mixing paints or filters or dyes together, you're doing something called subtractive color mixing. So each pigment you add absorbs more of a specific color of light. So the more colors you add, the less reflected light you get in the end. So that if you mix all the different color pigments together, you get black. So if you choose your complementary colors really well, all you can hope to do is remove the intensity or chroma of that color. So I have a purple Petri dish and a yellow Petri dish. Let's see if the same thing that happened in the video happens in real life. And when we cross them, of course we don't get white in the middle. We get a darker color. That's because the purple filter is absorbing some light from the room and the yellow filter is absorbing some light. So you're not gonna get more light when you cross both of them. So this clip isn't even possible. To see why, we have to remember our additive color mixing, meaning the colors you get when you mix light, not dyes or filters. 
Remember that in order to get white light, you have to have the three primary colors of light, red, green, and blue. But the purple filter absorbs the greenish light from the white light in the room, and the yellow filter absorbs the bluish light from the white light in the room. So when you overlap them, you're left with less overall light with the greenish and the bluish wavelengths removed. So of course you end up with this darker color in the middle, not white light. But does it actually work if you put it on your teeth? Okay, so it says to apply two pumps. Okay, and I'm gonna only put it on half of my teeth. So let's do this side. It's gonna be the purple and this side is just gonna be normal. Okay. Does it actually look wider on half of my mouth? Tell me what you think. Does this side of my teeth look wider than this side? Okay, so I've done three treatments now and I think maybe it's a little bit wider. But I think what might actually be happening more than anything is that it's kind of staying more in the cracks of my teeth and so it's making more contrast so it looks like the center is a little brighter. They appear that they might be a little less yellow but it's not like a huge difference. But why do they look whiter if I just showed you that mixing yellow and purple together doesn't make white? Well, the reason is because white and black are the same thing, basically. For example, I know this wall's white, even though it looks pretty dark right here. So we naturally do a white balance on any shade of white that we see. If something's slightly darker but has no color, we still know it's white. So when you put this purple stuff on your teeth, you remove the yellow tinge and end up with teeth that are slightly less bright than they were before, but they're still white. It doesn't matter the shade of white, all that matters is that there's no tinge of yellow to it. This little trick of adding complementary colors to make something look whiter has been around for a long time. For example, most white fabric turns slightly yellow over time due to a variety of reasons. If you've ever seen a really old white shirt, it usually looks a little yellow. So a lot of laundry detergent actually has a slightly blue pigment that they add to it. Blue is also a complementary color to yellow on some color wheels. So by adding blue, you reduce the yellowish color and end up with something that looks more white. And if you're wondering why some color wheels say that blue's the complementary color to yellow, and some say that it's purple, it's because subtractive color mixing used in color theory isn't a rigorous scientific theory. It's built off of the more rigorous theory of additive color mixing that tells us how our eyes respond to different wavelengths of light. I may have to do an entire video that talks about why subtractive color mixing has some issues. In addition to adding blue color to white fabric, another thing that's been being done for a long time is people putting purple shampoo in their hair. So for older people, when your hair turns white, you can actually get a yellow tinge to that white hair over time. So to remove that yellow tinge, you can use something called purple shampoo that puts a slight tinge of purple on that yellow to neutralize the yellow color and make it appear more white. So the same thing happens here. There's actually a darker color to your hair, but there's no tinge of yellow anymore, so it makes your hair look more white instead of yellow. And thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and we'll see you next time.